Hello everyone, Van Prepper here. This is going to be a quick video on the M1895 or the 1895 Nagant revolver. This revolver was developed in 1895. Uh, it was used through the end of the Second World War. It was used by uh, the Russian Imperial Army and then post-revolution it was used by the armies of the Soviet Union. Uh, it was used also in the uh, the, the different uh, incarnations of the Russian Secret Service. Uh, these are really durable weapons, much like the Mosin Nagant weapon. Uh, you'll notice that, that this shares a name. This revolver was developed by Emil and Leon Nagant. Uh, I'm not. I know that's not how you pronounce the name, but I'm not going to butcher it. Uh, it was, uh, I believe, Emil Nagant is one of the two people credited with developing the Mosin Nagant rifle. Um, this rifle, just like those rifles, is very simple to, to disassemble and reassemble. It was made uh, to be practical in battle. It was made like the Mosin Nagant rifles to be durable, to take a beating and to, to, to just continue to work and to function the way it's supposed to. It is very slow to uh, unload and reload, which is kind of a a downside. It certainly doesn't make a, a good, I, I don't consider it a good um, home defense weapon or even a good concealed carry weapon, but uh, it, it's like the Mosin Nagant rifles. It, it is in pretty doggone good shape. It's got some very neat and unique qualities about it. Uh, it's a double action, so in order to fire it, you have to pull back the hammer and then you depress the trigger. It has a handle here. That is because most of the M1895s come with um, a thing, uh, an attachment piece that attaches to the end of this and attaches to your belt. That way, the, your belt or the holster, that way uh, you could not lose it in battle. It comes with, like the Mosin Nagants. Uh, a nice set of accessories. It comes with these two pieces that I assume uh, have something to do with the cleaning, although uh, this obviously would probably be for cleaning the barrel, although I don't know. I just use my regular cleaning kit. comes with a nifty little holster here, and the holster has an attached pouch, which holds one box of the ammunition for these rounds, which I'm not going to be able to get out here. These rounds are very unique. If you look at the end, they are an open end. This is a gas seal revolver. This revolver is, to the best of my knowledge, the only gas seal revolver ever developed. And this round, it takes a 7.62 by 38 caliber round, or the 7.62 Nagant, as it is known. Uh, the, the really nifty thing about, or the unique thing about the gas seal round is that because it is a gas seal round and it seals to the end of the chamber, unlike other revolvers, this round could be used, this revolver could be used with a suppressor, uh, which was, I'm sure, really uh, handy if you wanted to sneak up and shoot somebody quietly. Uh, this, like I said before, this revolver much like its uh, Russian rifle counterparts was made to take a beating, made to just continue to function, to be simple and easy to repair. Uh, a former Russian officer said if anything went wrong with the M1895 you could fix it with a hammer. And isn't that true of the Mosin Nagant rifles as well? I mean those things were just made so practically to survive in harsh conditions and to just keep on ticking and keep on functioning uh, and if something did go wrong that you would be able to easily disassemble and reassemble the weapons to get them functioning again. I will likely do a video uh, at a later time of how easy it is to disassemble and reassemble this uh, revolver. It really is much like the Mosin Nagant. If, if you watch my video on easy disassembling and reassembling of the Mosin Nagant 9130, uh, these rifles were just made uh, for very, pr they weren't made to be pretty. This revolver wasn't made to be pretty. This revolver wasn't made uh, to uh, be uh, 
anything other than what it is. Uh, a revolver that will do what it's designed to do, and that's be a weapon of war. And, uh, you know, one neat little side fact, if you watch Enemy at the Gates, uh, it portrays these weapons for what rumor has it they were mostly used for. These are not long-range weapons by any stretch. You're not going to do a lot of shooting of people on a battlefield situation from distances. Uh, it is rumored that these revolvers saw as much or more action shooting Russian soldiers fleeing, uh, what the Russian officers would consider traitors or cowards, uh, in the back as they fled, or in the front as they fled toward the back toward the line, as they did in shooting the enemy. I don't know if that's true, that's just something I heard it certainly is portrayed in uh, Enemy at the Gates, the movie, and uh, just, again, real real fun gun to shoot. Not the easiest one to unload or reload, but a lot of fun and not expensive. I got picked this all this stuff up here for $150 out the door, and uh, I've enjoyed it like I do all my military surplus weapons. I hope you enjoy the video. I am Van Prepper. Happy shooting.